How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another day here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yesterday kind of felt like a weird nightmare, especially at the end, but nonetheless, we are starting out today by reading a letter from the post office, oh, to commemorate saving uh, half a million bells, Please accept this letter set with our heartiest and most sincere congratulations. We hope you enjoy it. Okay. Uh, I actually just did that earlier when I was playing, so that's kind of funny that they were able to send the, uh, uh, like the programming figured to send it the day of instead of yet, uh, tomorrow. But we got the letter set item. That's not too bad. It's pretty cool. Anyways, today, uh, I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. Really, it's just stopping in for coffee. Wait. Do I hear the... I do, but I think this isn't the item I'm looking for anyway. Uh, when will I get the item I so crave? Because I think this is yet again another silver slingshot. Right? Yeah. That's my third silver slingshot. I've been trying to get the gold one, but I don't know what the requirements are. It said it was like 15 presents, but I think I'm on like 30 now at this point. Anyway, let me put the slingshot away and let us go grab our first to-go cup of good ol' Brewster's coffee. Anybody in today? Phineas again? Phineas? You sure love your Brewster coffee. Anyway, we are gonna get a cup to go. Welcome. Oh, can I... Oh, I was gonna say, uh, you said welcome, but then nothing happened. A coffee, please. Takeout coffee is 200 bells per cup. You got a favorite blend? This one's new. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. Never mind. We only have two options here. I, maybe you can do that later. Uh, I'll leave it up to you, Brewster. Very well. And with a brand new animation to boot, thank you very much. Cool. No, Brewster, thank you. Can I equip it while in the... No, I cannot. Unfortunate as that is, so we need to step out. And then we can equip our cup of coffee and we can run around town, hopefully not spilling it while we're doing all the other things that are required of us, the mayor. So let's equip that coffee and let's take a big gulp. Ah, yes, good old coffee to go. It's been so long since I've had coffee, I really need to rectify that. Anyway, to the campground we go. And, of course, we have one last Zelda character to show off. And again, we have Pascal? Oh my goodness, what? when are we gonna get different characters? And speaking of different, when are we gonna get different dialogue from saying hey a Harv? Oh, you mean me. Soggy Noodle, it just... Stuff and fangs and stuff and fangs. Now I'm sounding like uh, Andrew Lincoln playing Rick in The Walking Dead. Stuff. Fangs. Where's Coral? Anyway, let's go inside this RV because we don't need to visit Pascal. We just need to... We need to just talk to Mr. Uh... Mr. Ganondorf, because Ganon is our final Legend of Zelda-related villager, thanks to the Welcome Amiibo update. Before we speak to him, though, of course. There we go, alright. And now, we could admire what's in his house. <laughs> admire, since his name is uh, Dragmire, his last name canonically. Dragmire, did I say that right? I don't know, anyway. There goes the neighborhood. A manifestation of absolute evil Evil has moved in. Yikes, this game just got dark. Maybe he'll play nice with everyone this time? Yeah, I kind of doubt that. Hello, Ganon! You are looking quite blue today. You're looking quite like your uh, Link to the Past self, which I don't mind. I like Link to the Past. Oh, and Link Between Worlds. So... I'll take your appearance looking this way, and you're really not going to say anything other than, you know, your trip here and whatever. Unless I ask you to move in, which I'm not. 
and I think the only difference in furniture you have is the bomb, of course the Ganon outfit, Ganon wig, um, and the rupee I think is new, the standalone rupee, it might be, I don't remember. But anyway, that's it for the campground for the day. But first, it's time to go shopping at Main Street, and what better way to celebrate than with taking another sip of our to-go coffee. Ah, there we go, nice. Okay, um, I'm not really feeling going to the kickstore today, because they really won't have anything until December rolls around. So, to the Able Sisters we go! Hello, Label. What do you have for me today? Hopefully not another crown, because that would make me extremely sad. No crown, thank you. You do have some, uh, well, a baseball cap. I was going to say two superhero things, but only the one. Kind of looks like a... Oh, God, I know there's a Power Rangers that was never adapted for North America out of the couple that there are. I think a pink Power Ranger has a helmet kind of like that. Anyway... Here we are in the main part with all the clothes, and what is this? Cuffed pants. I'm not feeling that. And hey, look, it's the bear shirt that like every single villager in town is now wearing thanks to Clay. Man, you know, I'm starting to be suspicious of everything that happened yesterday being of Clay. Especially now that this t-shirt's in the shop. I might have to give a talking to Clay soon. But for now, let's go to the garden store. Alright, Leaf, here we are. No axe today, unfortunately. We can't add a fourth one to our collection. Hey, maybe... <laughs> maybe the island will have the silver axe, finally. <laughs> Uh, oh, hello! Our purchase comes with a happy bonus. It's a silver can. You can use it to water many plants at once. You've brought a lot of flower seeds here, so use the watering can to help make those flowers nice and happy. Alright, we got the silver can and that magically just appears in our inventory instead of Leaf giving it to us. But hey, we got the upgrade to the can, which I haven't used in forever. I guess it's symbolic that the watering can is here instead of the axe today. And of course, we are also going to buy a sapling. There we go. All right, Leaf, thank you for the silver watering can. I was actually thinking of cutting this out because nothing special happened yesterday when I visited here. But now this place has purpose for this episode. Yay, thanks for fluffing content, Leaf. I appreciate it. And now, on to the Nookling store. Alright, here we are, Super TNT Mart. I'm really only here for my fortune cookies. What do they got? They Oh my god, they got a toilet. And they got a urinal? Oh my god, Nintendo Capri Sun would love today's selection. Anyway, we're here for the fortune cookies. We're only here for the fortune cookies, but I'm very tempted with the bathroom stuff. I'm very, very tempted. Anyway... Second fortune cookie, and then we're going to eat our fortune cookies, and we're going to see what our fortunes for the day are. Hopefully no repeats. There was a fortune inside, let's see. He who believes he has a pure heart is probably just a beast in denial. I think that's brand new? I'm not exactly sure. I think we've had number 37 before. I'm probably wrong, though. I actually don't remember it too well. Let's see what this one is. The land is great peril, but soon you will be the hero of Pomoja. I believe that is uh, related to a Link item. Hero wig, pants, something like that. I already have the hero pants, I think, so it'd be nice to get something other than the hero pants. Let's actually uh, hand in this fortune first, just to see if it's a repeat or not. Let's see here, number three. Ah, uh, congratulations! It's the hero's clothes. Here's your prize, so lucky. Okay, so I think that's, um, a shirt then. Okay. I'm actually gonna test this out. Yeah, it is a shirt. Never mind, I don't even have to wear it. Alright, so we got the hero pants and now the hero shirt. Even though it said clothes. Anyway, let's hand in our other fortune. 
and let us see what this is going to be. Hopefully not a repeat. I don't recall what this is. I don't remember seeing this fortune before, so... It, no, oh, it's a Triforce. Oh, well, we did have the Triforce before. So, we're gonna have to pawn that off at retail, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I would look at the other selections, like for the wallpaper and floor, but I'm not really interested. I'm just gonna get on with my adventures around town. Hello, Dr. Shrunk. Here I am again. I'm here to provide you with another snack for a joke. And hopefully this isn't a repeat like one of my fortunes were today. Here, Dr. Shrunk, I've brought you a leche. Ooh, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm, I know how to tell a... I should... How about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to get ready, so you wait right here. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My daydreaming joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. You know, the lottery can really get you dreaming. If I won first prize, I'd buy a yacht, then a big hot tub for my yacht, and then some sort of robot butler... Maybe take the missus on vacation. Would she like a tropical island or perhaps a mountain hot spring? Thinking about all these exciting possibilities really gets me jazzed. Hmm? When did they announce the results for the lottery? I don't know. I was so busy daydreaming I forgot to buy a ticket. So, yeah, what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my daydreaming joke. Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book to bust out your daydreaming ability and develop your comedic skills. Well, thanks, Shrunk. Uh, okay. Shrunk! I'm, I'm speaking here! Let's go bite the bullet. Let's go check out the island shop. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to disappointment we go. I am afraid that I am going to be- Hello, never mind. Okay, well, we're not visiting the island quite yet. Looks like we got good old cousin Crazy Red here that wants to do business with us. Oh, ho, oh, welcome to my gallery. Come on in, see some art. Oh boy, cousin, when was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy, I can't buy them all. Uh, but remember, we sell only one item per customer. Make your very... You make your very carefully choice. Yes. Foxes speak that way, it's not me. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's see here. All paintings this time. Alright. I... I think isn't one of my town initiatives about art? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm actually going to look this up. I'll be right back, because I don't want to screw this up. I want my three meow coupons, man. Alright, I went ahead and checked, and... I think both of these might be correct. There can be two genuine... Uh, paintings and or statues at the same time in an art gallery. It's hard to tell though if this guy's left arm is folded or not. It doesn't really look like it to me. However, this option here is actually a painting that is always genuine. So I think I'm gonna go with the safer option just because you never know what can happen. If I get the other one wrong, then... I wouldn't probably forgive myself, especially because I don't think Red would be back again before Monday, which means I would lose out on the chance to get those three Meow Coupons from the Town Initiative. So yeah, I'm picking up the perfect painting, and hopefully by some weird programming error on my end, it turns out to be fake. I looked it up, it said it was always genuine. So, uh, it better be red or I'm gonna get a lawyer and sue you, cousin. 
Aha, cousin, I just know this work of art will find its true home now that you've decided to buy. I'll be sending your purchase off as soon as the exhibition is over, so keep uh, keep watch for it. And that is Red's art gallery. Yesterday, I actually didn't show off that um, Katrina was in town, the fortune teller. I actually didn't even go inside, and I'm kind of mad about that, because I really need to visit Katrina whenever she's in town, because it's very important that I do, and that won't flash until, yeah, that won't flash at all until I have the necessary means to, uh, uh, what do you call it, to submit the art to the museum. Anyway, off we go to the island because I love torturing my... Wait, who's that? Oh, that's Victoria. I was gonna say, that didn't look like someone that's around town. I was very spooked by that for a second. Anyway, to the island we go. Hooray, let's just get this over with, Cap'n. Take my money. Oh my god, why does this game hate me? Where are your silver axes for crying out loud, Grandma? Uh, uh, okay, so I've been going around town and I just noticed that there's this non-living-in-the-town villager here, so, uh, let's speak to them. Or her, I should say, even though they have the green background for the special NPCs. Anyway. Hello. Um, hey, mister? Are you from Pomosia? What? No way. You're the mayor? Hi, Mr. Mayor. I'm Katie. I'm on a big adventure, traveling to all sorts of different towns all by myself. Did you think, uh... Did you think I was some lost kid? No way, not me. When I was littler, though, I was always getting away from my mom. I guess I could see how you'd think I was lost, T. Anyway, Pomoja is a really cool town. I've actually had a lot of fun here already. But I'm starting to think about where to go next. I just don't know where to go yet. Oh, right. Hey, Mr. Mayor, how about you take me to some other town? Um, sure. Yay, you're the best. Okay, um, oh, you are gonna follow me, okay. Um, well, this is awkward. I'm gonna go need to message some of my friends to let me into their towns for this thing. Although I'm recording days... Like, my time is set five days before theirs, so I don't know how this would even work. I guess we'll find out. Follow me, Katie. Okay. Uh, and yes, as you can see, I still haven't solved the mystery of the new town flag or town tune. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna go message one of my friends, and I'm gonna go see if we can do this again. I've never done this where I've been, re where I record this days ahead of real time. So I don't know if this is going to screw something up or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Um, Porter, I'm gonna need a little bit before I can speak to you. Good news, Katie. I reached out to a friend, and they're going to open their town gate so I can take you to their town, and then good things can happen for me. The bad news is that I don't know how long it's going to take them to open it, because they only just got back to me on Twitter. Alright, Katie, I've brought you to a place that I've visited before, and that is Koholin, which is, of course, later Gator to Use Town. Thanks for bringing me here. Um, so, actually, I've been really scared traveling by myself lately, but you're being all nice like this made me feel really good. You're the best. Okay, I'm gonna go see what Koholin is all about. So long, friend!
And just like that, Katie is gone in a whisper, and we are back in time! Whoa! And there he is with his nasty Cali wig. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna thank him on here for allowing... I'm gonna thank him again for allowing me to bring this NPC over very last minute. Very last minute. <laughs> very uncoordinated, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, at least there's that. Uh, but with that being said, I think I'm gonna hang out here for a little while. Uh, just to see w if anything is different about his town. And... <laughs> well, way to, way to spoil what's happening on games coming up. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, catch a waiter.